All right, so that was the final stop for the Blue Blade, Blue Brand, on its way to WrestleMania Sunburst. So we begin with Becky Lynch and Mickey James. Great match, nice psychology. Mickey worked the arm, tried to go for a, you know, she doesn't hit, hit the mick kick. Really seemed to stuff Becky Lynch at almost every turn. Mickey tried to go for her jumping DDT. Becky kind of got her way out of it, got a roll of victory. It's good, good, nice, solid opener. And easily the best women's match on the card. Easily. Easily. The two-on-one handicap match between Kalisto, Apollo, Cruz, and Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler attacks Kalisto and breaks some of the LED board on the entrance ramp with him. So it's a Cruz Ziggler, which we've kind of seen a lot of, and they're good, but it's just... doesn't feel like it's pay-per-view worthy. Ziggler is now working more of a mat-based style, which worked well. Kalisto came down because, you know, his baby face has to. They then kind of get the two-on-one advantage, and then they beat Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler then attacks Kalisto on the outside of the ring, and then beats down Apollo Crews with a chair, and then does the ankle breaker spot to the delight of the crowd chanting yes. Your heels all over whooping your baby face with the chair and trying to cripple him. We saw this before, and it was Triple H beating down Roman Reigns. Your alignments are jacked up, just saying. Natalia and Nikki felt like they were just off. These two have no strength at Should have had a really crisp, clean match. I don't know if it's because you've got. You know, Natalia trying to work more of her heel persona in. It just, just kind of a sloppy match. It seemed to go really long. And then it ended up a count out. Because. Now we're in the tag team turmoil match. I might have this switched around, but. So begin. Slater Rhino. Fashion Popo. Slater Rhino advance. Good. Take on the Bond Villains. Slater Rhino advance. Good. Now it's the Usos. Usos beat Heath Slater and Rhino. Okay. American Alphas come down. Usos, Alphas, great back and forth. Alphas get the victory. Usos are like, oh, no, ain't having that. Do a wicked post-match beatdown. Ascension comes down. Fall of man on Jason Jordan, who's been just obliterated by the Usos. One to Gable makes the save. A lot of back and forth. Grand amplitude out of nowhere. Babyface is retained. Did a good job with the babyface in the beginning. Defeat the, the two lesser heel teams. Losing to the big heel team. Then going Usos, American Alphas. Then get like a roll, a quick victory. The beat down and the babyface comeback. It, it worked. They, they did what they could with what they had to work with. It was a solid match. <clears throat> Bliss Naomi. You know? So we say it's the second best women's card on the, on the second best women's match on the card. You know, they worked the athleticism of Naomi, the, the sneaky heel tactics of Lexa Bliss. And split legged moonsault. One, two, three. Naomi's new champion gets a you deserve it champ. She has a problem going through her, her speech of, you know, taking this title to, to Mania. But, you know, they've done a lot with Naomi since the brand split. They gave her a, 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 a kind of a brand new persona. She's working it. She's actually doing a much better job in the ring. She's a lot crisper. You can tell she's actually gotten over that, that fear that she used to have. She's actually becoming a very good, high-flying women's wrestler. So, kudos. Kudos. Harper Orton. Harper still comes out to crickets, but by the time the match is going, crowd is super. They start doing like the like, like the trading the forearm shots. 
and they're doing boo for Orton and yay for Harper. Guy is just amazing. I almost wish that instead of it being Cesaro Sheamus for best seven series and becoming a tag team, it would have been Cesaro and Luke Harper. Because Luke Harper is just, he's great in the ring. Great in the ring. You can tell he needs a he needs a tweak to the persona, but so good in the ring. Makes you put him and Cesaro as a tag team. And just great back and forth. This match would have easily been the top match on the card if you didn't have a chair match afterwards. Orton hits an RK out of out of nowhere towards the end. Great match. Fantastic. Easily the number two match on the card. Just great back and forth. And brutal. Brutal. Now I get Elimination Chamber. They've tweaked the design of the chamber. The chamber used to be more more circular. Now they've made it where it's more of like a giant square. They've also changed the pods too. The pods used to have like curves to them. Now the pods are actual squares. And they've done some over overhead lighting so when someone gets released, they do like a lighting cue instead of like the spotlight. And plus it being more more square like, it's easier for them to climb onto the sides. And they've done additional sections where uh, they've added more steel. So the chains don't have anywhere near as much give as they used to. So we begin Cena AJ. Because if you're gonna do Cena for the whole time, you have to put him with AJ. There's really no one else on that. Uh, that group that works well with them. Ambrose is out next. Ambrose makes beautiful use of the cage. Jumping off the, the top pods with his elbow drop, just throwing people into the into the chain, slamming people on the outside. He's doing a good, solid job with them. I think next we had Wyatt. Wyatt again. Great use of the cage. Beating people down, lots of nice psychology. And we get Corbin. Corbin, also too, being the big guy, is doing lots of nice big guy spots and slamming people into the cage. The moment that they had Ambrose and Corbin just beating each other against the cage, it worked well. It was good. Corbin had laid out almost everybody. Now it's time for Miz to get in the ring. Miz looking at Corbin. Corbin's looking like, I'm going to kill you, Miz. Miz looking back at Corbin going, oh, he going to kill me. So he's not trying to leave his pod. And Corbin's like, God, come on. I'm going to kill you. Roll up by Ambrose. One, two, three. Corbin eliminated, flips out, kills Ambrose. Miz is like, so Corbin left the, the ring and have they locked the cage? I don't know. Left the cage. One, two, three. I've defeated Ambrose. Lots of yes kicks, running corner drop kicks. I'm like, okay. Will Miz eliminate John Cena? No, Cena eliminates Miz. Okay. Down to Miz, down to Styles, Wyatt, Cena. John goes top of the pod, jumps off with a crossbody. He's doing whatever he can to defeat the people in that ring. And retain his title. Puts a Bray up for an AA. Bray reverses Sister Abigail. One, two, three. Scene has been eliminated to the light of the crowd. AJ. Bray Wyatt. Lots of nice back and forth with these two. It seemed like whatever Styles was get going, Bray had a nice counter. It was like, phenomenal combination. Stand as a close line. 450, 450, a spring of 450 splash. I get my knee up a little bit to kind of catch you in the ribs. Go out for a phenomenal forearm. On the Ruku, it stops, and I have to go to jump into watching Talking Smack because there's an overrun. Do you want to watch Talking Smack? Phenomenal forearm. Kind of, kind of stopped. Caught Sister Abigail. One, two, three. Bray Wyatt's your new champion. And as soon as it happens, people put their phones up. 
but they didn't kill the house lights. They kill the house lights, and the crowd's just the crowd's going nuts. And they pan over, and there's Orton. Orton, Wyatt, could be well. It won't be your main event. Will be part of your multiple main event for WrestleMania. Wyatt is champion. And he beat John Cena and AJ Styles in the same night to become WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Flip that also means that John Cena was a 16-time champion for a little over two weeks, like two like, like two weeks and some change. <laughs> 